My name is Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Good morning. Man, it's a new day, new start, new beginning, new pepper, T-Rex. We look at this gnarled, look at the gnarly nature of this gorgeous yellow pod. If you watch this, this is kind of cool to watch. This isn't lighting. That pod is yellow. But when you turn it this way, that pod turns kind of orange. Really neat. What a beautiful pepper. It's a T-Rex grown by Daniel Mosier from Mosier Spice. Not just a great sauce maker. Dude's also got arms like Popeye. Let me tell you a little bit about this pepper. It's new to me, T-Rex. It's a, what it is, is a Trinidad Dougla crossed with a Bootla. A beast that bites does not give up. Impressive capsaicin content among the strongest peppers we've uh, produced. Very extreme. Gnarly fruits, beautiful yellow color, fruity taste, impressive smell, and I am looking forward to eating this. Really is a pretty pepper, I'm telling you. I have a feeling the inside this is going to make for a spectacular picture. You won't believe how oily this is. I know I say that all the time, but really, this is an oily, oily pepper. I think the best way to take a picture is it doesn't want to sit upright. That'll have to do it. Wow. The thing is completely glistening with oil on the inside. I'll show you guys in just a second. Light right there. I need lighting, better lighting in here. There we go, that's a good picture. Alright. Wait till you see it, you guys. The entire this entire bottom portion is glistening with oil. Really is. Smell it while it's in there. While it's close. Put your smell of vision on. Smell that? Definitely has citrus notes in there for sure. Here's the other half. Ah, oh, it's just coated with oil. Beautiful. Beautiful pepper. Okay, we're gonna munch this right now. I wonder if it's worth trying one more picture. I'm not really digging the picture that I got. How about that for an idea for a picture? I'll just take a picture of holding it. Be patient with me. Thank you, guys. All right. Now I'm going to eat this bad boy. I think it's beautiful. So this is the T-Rex from Mosier Spice. Gorgeous pepper. It's going to be a great day today. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the It's a great tasting pepper. About 30 seconds ago, I said it's a great tasting pepper. As soon as I did that, the pepper changed on me. Big time. And became really floral. Like, really floral. Um, I think what happens is mostly it was the tip of the pepper is what I was chewing and tasting at first. Once I chew up the bulk of the pepper, that had the, the uh, placenta and all the seeds and everything else, that's where it became uh, floral. But, the floral taste has dissipated. Now I'm just left with a fruity pepper flavor. That's a very hot pod. That's a screamer. 
for real. My tonsil is up. I've been eating a lot of peppers, you know, it's pepper season. That's a hot one. That's one of the hotter ones of the season. It's not the hottest, but it's... And I'm looking calm. Trust me on this, and I mean this with all sincerity. If you're not accustomed to hot stuff and you ate that whole pepper, it would be a day you would, I don't care if it lived to be a thousand, it would be a day you would never ever forget. Crazy, crazy hot. Let's go to Tommy's Picks, people. Let's see what the good doctor has for us today. First up, Nicholas Burns. I need caffeine, guarana, and B12 added to any hot sauce called Jolt. That'd be great. Harkening back to the great drink from a long time ago. It might be still around. Johnny, Nick Burns back on his game, and how funny is this comment? Uh, if you're going to call that stuff Jolt, it's gonna, he's going to need to see some caffeine, some uh, guarana, and some B12. Make it absolutely unbelievable. I'm tempted to score this, but instead, I'll just ask you to have a seat in the in the winner's circle before all the pods get consumed. <laughs> LOL. Um, I like it. All right, next up, we have the Capsaicin Clinic. Maybe when Johnny goes on Australia time, YouTube goes on a hiatus and doesn't send notifications. Or maybe there's a time zone lag and, and then they, uh, they go on and we just haven't gotten them, haven't gotten them yet. Anyway, I didn't miss this one because I, I, wouldn't want to, uh, I wouldn't want to feel what that would feel like. Elwood knows what I'm talking about. God, everybody else just gets in on these jokes. You know, this is one of those comments that I started reading and, and I like the concept of you, Johnny, goes on Australia time. Doesn't seem uh, like YouTube is just blowing off television when, when a video comes out. I love it. Then he goes on, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Then he goes on telling us that he's got, uh, then he, he's got, that at least he's got to see the video because he's afraid of what it might feel like to miss a video. Um, Elwood knows what that that's like. Um, that's gold. Everybody in this comment section is stepping up their game. Good stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, you need to step up your game, talkie lover. Those are his words. Uh, Thomas L. with Bailey. Good morning, Sunday people. Um, this was yesterday's comment. Uh, remember, we are at war with Capsaicin. Let's put a dent in their numbers today. Chase you for life. <laughs> <coughs> I like that. Okay, people, I'm not exactly sure uh, what I'm doing here because this has never been done. This is just fun. I don't. Uh, this is fun. Don't get me wrong. I know it's always bring you. Uh, uh, it always brings you. Uh, see, there's a voice to text problem. Sorry. Uh, I'm not bringing this here because I'm giving it uh, a thumbs up. I'm giving it here so that you can find the th uh, the thread that is attached to this comment because the Tommy Award for the greatest thread in the history of Tommy Spicks goes to Elwood and his cast of characters. Last I looked, there were 14 entries on the thread. I did not leave one because I felt it would be sullying it. People, I kid you not, there's no way for me to read them all. It would take Johnny uh, forever to have Johnny do it. And even more cruel to get, uh, and, and more cruel. So get on right now and go read this thread. Uh, and you are gonna laugh, you'll laugh out loud. Um, all of you in that thread deserve a Tommy. There's a first, uh, there's a first for everything. I'm Tommy, and those are my picks. Go check that out. It's the the video is. I'm not sure what the video is, but oh man, try to look for the uh, the Elwood Bailey. Thomas Elwood Bailey says, "Good morning, uh, good Sunday morning, people. Remember, we're at war with Capsaicin. Let's put a dent in their numbers today. Read that thread. He's not fooling. It's hilarious. Right now, there's 14. It's going to keep going. It's amazing." It's gonna be a great day today. We've got pods, we've got a, a, a legal fire challenge. It's gonna be exciting. Daniel Mosier, got a bunch of cool stuff. I got some sauces from him coming up that I'm excited about. Check out this one. Hot garlic, liquid gold, garlic honey, spicy garlic honey. Man, I'll tell you what, there's some good stuff coming. Um, so get ready for it. Uh, have a great day today. Make it special. Right there is our pepper. Click that pepper when you do your part of the family. If you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. Miss none of them, especially if you come back 8, noonish, and 9, which is when we upload. Right there is Leo Fire today. Right here, more videos. Thanks for hanging with me. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heath.